Hi, this is Tara Green, and it is February 22nd, so it's 2-22-2020, another one of those amazing magic numbers, and it's a very special day for me as well, so you can read about that on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com. So for today, the sun in Pisces sextiles Uranus and Taurus, so it's a really great day for brilliant ideas, for revolution, for higher thoughts, but really grounded in your gut instincts. Okay, so Uranus, the planet that rules the internet, uh, new technologies. Now remember that Mercury is retrograde in Pisces, and so uh, all of our cell phones, communications, devices, all that stuff are likely to get screwed up, of course. But the Sun in Pisces adds, asks you to bring a more charitable view, more compassionate, forgiveness, creativity, dreams, meditation, spirituality, all of those beautiful things that Pisces Sun is all about, okay, to thinking differently, to thinking about the collective. You know, Uranus rules the collective. It is the planet in modern astrology that rules the sign of Aquarius. And a lot of astrologers are believing that we are entering the age of Aquarius very soon, actually, as Saturn will dip its toe into Aquarius very shortly. Now, the tarot card of the day to guide you from the beautiful Muse Tarot by Chris Ann is called the Five of Materials. It looks like a very mysterious card here. Now, materials has to do with matter, the world of matter, the 3D world, uh, the densest of all the spiritual energies. So it would be coins, pentacles, or discs in the tarot. And the fives are always problematic. Now, in this card here, it's interesting, she uses the five fingers and almost like this web of energy coming through these gateways with these beautiful five roses, very mysterious card, um, with a woman, I can't really actually tell, she looks like she's in a knot, so maybe she's gotten caught in her own knot of destiny, um, you know, in a sense, it has to do with we can do and we can undo and we don't want to get stopped by, you know, what seems to be difficulties, you know, which is what the fives are all about, right, challenges, difficulties, um, it's in the middle of the 10 cycle. So the number five technically relates to the symbol of Venus and the rose is especially her uh, flower, her symbol. So the five uh, pointed star, the upturned, always upturned with the point up star is Venus's symbol because she makes that pattern actually in the sky over eight years. So choose love, be love, love will get you through any dark spot, any doubts, any worries. Uh, takes you right through the transition. So have faith, I would say. Uh, and the moon will enter Pisces. Speaking of faith, uh, tonight the moon is basically void, of course, actually all day uh, today. So it's a day out of time. Uh, again, work with those master numbers, the twos, the high priestesses, uh, the symbol of the moon, and the 22, which is the symbol master number, the master builder of the fool, the symbol of enlightenment. So I would definitely say it's a day to, to be enlightened, to get enlightened, to really draw down that higher energy. Okay, if you want to get in touch with me, please follow me uh, here on YouTube, uh, subscribe to me, and also follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com or on my website, terratero.com. I'm pretty busy on Twitter and on Instagram as well. Sending you blessings.